Okay, so I had a link sent to me the other day from Munker from the Armoury Discord. This is Afterburner built on Ubuntu 2204, so 64-bit OS, but it's actually got Wine built into it. So let's have a look. So the message I had was user pi, password raspberry, all of the retro gaming and box 86 plus wine stuff included and YouTube performance is optimized. It's the wine stuff I was more interested in because the last time I tried to install this in a 64-bit OS, it didn't go that well. So we have a look at the setup. Uh, so I'm on my Pi 4 8 gig, as you can see here, uh, and uh, Ubuntu 22.04, 64-bit, GNOME 42, and it's running on Wayland. It's worth noting that the Chromium version is the ungoogled version. Uh, right, so if I double tap the home button, uh, I'm using a different keyboard and that's because one of the games I'm using in Windows uses the number keys on a keyboard and my Logitech doesn't have any of those. Uh, so we can see here from the games folder, there's a few games that are already installed. There's DOSBox installed as well, uh, which obviously runs DOS games. We've got Dune, we've got Red Alert, we've got another Red Alert, Tiberium Dawn. We've got RetroArch already installed, Moonlight, which is a game streaming service, and uh, Amiberry, which is the Amiga. We've got two different PlayStation versions. It, le it looks like two different skins, really. Uh, then we've got PPSSPP, which is excellent on the Pi, uh, and there's the other version of DuckStation and a few uh, of the inbuilt games that come with Ubuntu. So there's this folder with Wine. Uh, I'll come back to that. So under Utilities, Belena Etcher, Imager is already installed, Gpart is installed as well, although I can't remember if that comes with Ubuntu or not, but it is a really good piece of software. Uh, a couple more things in there, obviously an office suite. We've got PyKiss already installed and a few other things as you can see. So with the Wine, I found if I tried to launch the desktop, uh, it didn't always work for me, but if I opened Wine configuration and then opened the desktop, it did seem to work all right. So you can see here, now I've got it uh, set to Windows 7. You can change this version. As you can see, there's all sorts of different versions, which is going to give you better compatibility with whatever era of game you're playing. Uh, the game I'm going to launch first is uh, a Steam game. So if I launch Wine Desktop, I've been playing around with it. I'm, I think this is the best way to do it. Just starting the configuration and then the desktop seems to work best for me. Once you've got to this point, it seems to work fine. This is uh, a Windows folder. You can actually see it on my desktop. Uh, so this is the folder as shown by the file manager and I've got some games in here. So if I close this one down, uh, double tap on Windows and uh, let's do Super Crate Box first. So double click on that and double click on the executable. Now I installed this game on my Melee mini PC uh, and then I used Steam to locate the folders and uh, just copied the Super Crate Box folder and I've put it as you can see in a folder on the desktop and it runs from that. And here we go and if I turn up the sound, you'll hear the sound is fine and if I go into the tutorial, just click on the window. And as you can see, the speed of it seems absolutely fine. I'm pretty sure this is the same as it runs on Windows. In fact, those and you can see the really fast enemies there as well. Whoop. Now I can't remember how you shoot. Oh, X is shoot. Okay. You can see it's working and it's getting a bit more frantic. Uh, so let's close that one down. Now GTA, this is GTA 3. This is a version I had and I used to have it on a CD or a USB stick, I can't remember. And I, when I used to work in a Sony Center many, many years ago, we used to just copy this folder to the desktop and then just launch it with GTA 3 EXE. Uh, and it had various different patches in it. Um, this is the snow mod. And uh, unfortunately, the game doesn't launch. It comes up with an exception. Now, the menus and everything start up fine and seem to work okay. But uh, whatever display setup I use, I, unfortunately, I couldn't get this to launch. It comes up with an error on the launch. And we've had GTA, the PC version, working on the Pi. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was in PyKiss. Um, but if I do start new game, it goes all the way as if it's going to go and then it comes up with an exception and then shuts itself down, unfortunately. But as I say, we've had GTA and GTA Vice City working on it as well. I couldn't get my version of Vice City, uh, which was from Steam and transferred over. I couldn't get that to work. But uh, one that I was really excited about getting to work, and I've always tried this game on the Pi, uh, if I've had wine or anything like that, which is Interstate 76. Now, I found that this worked better on... 
think it was 98. Could have been 90. Actually, I think it was 95. So Windows 95, click apply. Now, I don't know if this changes the desktop that's already launched. Well, in fact, we'll see if I double click on it. Yeah, so it launches and it launches pretty quick. So let's bring up the keyboard instructions. Uh, I think I've got them in my downloads folder. No, pictures. Yeah, there you go. So this is uh, what it used to be like with games, uh, where you would have a key card to show you exactly what the keys were. And as you can see, there's loads of them here. But the most important ones are accelerate, brake, and left and right. Uh, although gun comes in handy in this game. So let's hit trip and let's go playboy. All the sounds and everything, all the speech, excellent. Oh, here we go. So now, oh, what's camera? We gonna wipe out those maggots? View? Ah, view, here we go. And I quite like this one. This sort of behind the car view. Let's accelerate a bit more. See the graphics don't look perfect on it, but it's running pretty well. And this bit's the scripted bit of the start. So before anything goes wrong or you need to do anything. But if we pause it, <laughs> I don't know what pause is. There you go, so space bar is fire. Is it M for map? There you go, does that show me where we are? It's just such a cool stylized game. Let's change that view. So you can see where various things are. We get different audio when we're inside the car. Someone shooting at me. Where's that coming from? I need handbrake. Z is handbrake. For some reason I'm I'm in drive, but it's not driving very Oh here we go, someone's trying to get me left. <laughs> I should be moving, why am I not moving? I'm pressing accelerate. Oh, my, I'd, I'd stalled. Okay. Right, so, let's do it all. Just, just do a little handbrake and spin around. Look. Try not to stall this time. Oh, there's someone else, is there? But you can go right up the terrain and everything, look. <laughs> it's, it's such a good game. The handling is amazing in it. Uh, Let's just spin around to get back to someone as well. But it just works really, really well on this. I'm so impressed. I haven't overclocked. I'm pretty sure it's running at stock clock speeds. Enter cycles through the weapons. I don't know what other weapons I've got. If I do view, does it show me on the screen here? Oh yeah, landmines. MG, rocket. Rocket sounds good. Let's see if we can find someone again. Definitely not used to the keyboard controls on this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the rockets are dead. I don't know if that's someone I'm supposed to be firing at, but they're gone. How good is this game? And they did an Interstate 82, although I don't, I don't remember that one at all. But uh, yeah, super impressed with that. Anyway, I'm gonna try playing that when I'm not doing a video, but uh, I really like it and I really like all the views and look, we've got all the details here about the wheels, suspension and so on. We've got the radar at the top left there. Yeah, very nice. And I crashed. I used to have a quick shot uh, PC joystick, which I would have probably been using at the time, rather than just keyboards alone. And uh, let's just show a bit of PS1 as well, uh, while I'm at it. Uh, the duck station that's in here actually works really nicely. I can't remember which one is the better one. I think this one is the better one. Yeah, so uh, Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX, one of my favorite games. Although I do like uh, the GameCube version of Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX 2. Oh, I'm going to have to get rid of the music because uh, I won't be allowed to play that. It remembers where you got to as well. It just launches back into the game where you were. 
looks really nice. I did try it in two times, uh, which was definitely uh, a sharper picture, but it didn't run at full speed. Although I'm not overclocked on this, I'm pretty sure it's running at stock speeds. So I could definitely overclock a lot and uh, possibly get that two times working. Here we go. So as you can see, it's working and all the speed to me, I played this game so much uh, years ago that uh, yeah, I think uh, if anything, it's possibly running a bit faster. But uh, yeah, it's a great game and uh, a really nice emulator. I haven't really done, uh, I haven't really used Duck Station much, but uh, yeah, I'm impressed with that. So thanks very much to the Armory on the Discord and uh, Munker and Salva. It's uh, yeah, I'm really impressed so far, and uh, can't wait to see what you do next. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.